everybody, it's KB here today to make a fun little video and in today's video I am going to be filming me working on my hamster's enclosure aka Miss Mavis. Mavis is my one and five month old Syrian hamster who lives in an Ikea Detolf. I struggle with saying that sentence. You have no idea how much I struggle with saying that. Literally, I have to say it like three times to get it right. So what I just did was fantastic. <laughs> Anyways, so guys, in today's video, I'm going to be working on her enclosure, rearranging it, setting it up a little different, and you're going to get to see her and watch her be so cute. She was super cute in today's video. Uh, the reason why I'm redoing it is I always like to redo it. I'd say, like, every three to four weeks, I like to rearrange it and, like, clean it, and I usually will, like, add new things throughout, you know, those weeks. So I decided that because I'm starting college very soon, I will be commuting. So don't worry, the animals will still be taken care of. I'm going to be home, uh, but I am going to be starting school soon and it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment. I decided I am kind of trying to get all the animals done and like really cleaned up and nice. So that way they're Ha they have a whole bunch of toys they can play with and stuff while I'm away at school and as I'm adjusting I don't have to be as worried about getting certain things done. So we are going to rearrange and work on her enclosure today. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is her current setup. As you can see, very messy. She's kind of been like running around in it and all that. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting rid of some of the bedding, putting some fresh stuff in, and just in general doing some cleanup, and then I'm going to start putting and rearranging things. So I'm going to probably push all of the bedding into the middle uh, because I want to use these two ends for an idea I have. Uh, her wheel needs washed, and then I need to get her more sand because her sand is really dirty and I ran out. So I need to get her more, so I'm just going to keep the current sand in there and try to like sift through it for now because... um. Finding children's play sand is actually kind of difficult. Don't know why. Like, only Walmart carries it around here. It's super weird. <laughs> Other than that, it's like weird child's play sand that isn't safe. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, let's get started. Okay, so this is just me showing you guys how I made one of the new additions to her enclosure, and she does live in an Ikea Detolf. So I decided to make her like this little level thing where I could put her sand bath under while still not taking up too much space and being able to put her water bowl on top. So I decided to make that because I just wanted a new addition to it, and I thought it would be a fun idea to save space and be able to add more bedding without it impacting the sand box or like her water because I hate whenever bedding and stuff gets in the sand and the water so I decided to make my own and by the way I'm using cardboard and non-toxic hot glue and making sure that there's no like little spider webs or anything on it and I used a very minimum amount of glue. Okay, so now I'm just going to remove everything from the enclosure in terms of like accessories, Heidi's wheel, etc. And then I am going to remove uh, a bunch of the bedding because it was getting pretty old and I will be replacing that with Carefresh. And basically I leave Mavis in here because I she doesn't get stressed, she just likes being around and I think it's kind of like fun for her to explore while I'm changing things. So I do leave her in there and it's just easier for me to keep an eye on her because she is an escape artist. So this is the mess I made. Literally such a mess. Need to vacuum, even though I already vacuumed today. Gotta vacuum again. But I gave Mavis a uh, whimsy chew, and she's struggling so much with it, cause she usually, um, she usually puts her like burrows and like her little sleeping areas in these corners, but there's no bedding in these corners, so she just doesn't seem to understand that. In order to like hide it in a space, she needs to make a new one over here. So she's just struggling awkwardly <laughs> trying to figure out where to go. Are you, are you finally gonna, did you finally figure it out? No? You're gonna go back to your corner? 
Okay, so I set up her cage in a whole new setup. This is the first time I've ever done something like this, but I really like trying out different setups with the IKEA. So I feel like it gives her some more enrichment by trying to figure out where she wants to sleep now and where she wants to burrow and how she wants to rearrange things, you know? So I really like that. And like I said, she doesn't seem to be understanding that she can't sleep in this corner as easily anymore because she really likes the corners. Um, but anyways... So basically, I have Carefresh bedding, and then some Aspen, and then some, I think it's Katie Clean and Cozy. That's all mixed together. It's primarily Carefresh. I removed, like, quite a bit of the original bedding, but I still left, like, 25%, so it still smells like her. And then I added some Timothy hay and some toilet paper and also some brown paper that she can chew up, make some more noise with. I sprinkled food all over it. I made this. And I kind of just rearranged it nicely. So this part I'm pretty proud of. I built like this little divider thing so that way her sand bath is over here and her water is as well. And it's kind of like this fun little, you know, barrier so that way she doesn't get bedding all through here. And I did cut out a little corner in case she wants to start, you know, burrowing. Uh, but she can't get over it through here. So she'll have to get up through here and then she can get down into her sand bath and her water so it's not like it's going to be a difficult process for her it will be easy because this bedding is very high Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in the inside a little bit to show you some things. So Mavis is actually currently in this Katie hide. She really likes using this hide or a bendy bridge as the entrance to her burrow. So she'll oftentimes have a little tunnel going under the hide, which I think is so cute. And then this is some millet spray. I think tomorrow I'm gonna go and get her some oat spray and some different kinds because she doesn't really like millet as much, but I still give it to her in case she does want some. Uh, and then I have this little chew, which she doesn't really use. I mean, she has, but not a ton here is a piece of driftwood I just decided to put in here for her a different texture for her to play with this which she also doesn't really care about but I always seem to want to keep it in here although she does not care about it I'm sure a mouse would like this mice would probably really like that and then um, I know this might be weird because I feel like not a lot of people use like this paper and like this but I think it's really cool because it acts as like another hiding system for her where she walks under this and she kind of you know does her thing and it's kind of like another tunnel system and I, I don't know I think it's kind of cool and she seems to enjoy it and she'll tuck it away in the bedding when she wants but I think it's just you know a good texture at first for her to play with and move it around how she likes because I personally like rearranging things in a way where she kind of will have to work to rearrange it so like all this if she doesn't want this here she's gonna have to go and collect it all and that keeps her busy and that keeps her enriched so it's kind of why I do that and then same thing with the hay I kind of you know just put it on the top and then she'll rearrange it how she wants what are you doing? How, how are you? <laughs> and then like I said, I do uh, forage feed her. I think that's how they, I think that's what the hamster people call it, where you just sprinkle the food around. So you can see her seed mix is just tucked in here. And she seems to do really well with that. I oftentimes will do it every couple of days because I usually do like a small handful and I know she's gonna hoard it. So I try not to give her too much. Then, like you guys saw this, I might cut this a little bit wider for her, um, cause she, I, it was originally just a circle, but it was way too small, but I didn't want to cut it bigger, so I just kind of made it a little entrance like that for her, and she hasn't come over here yet, she did come over to get a drink of water, uh, here's this chew, again, doesn't really care much about it, but I use it anyways. And then I did actually end up having some sand, so I just poured that on top. I'm going to still get new sand and stuff. And then I put the coconut hide in there just for fun. Uh, I might switch it out, though, with a different one because I kind of want it to be like an open bottom hide. Um, but I need to either make one or take one of her hides from over there. And then in here I also have this, like, um... I have this cork tunnel which she also likes and it's super chewed up and I kind of just keep it in here for her to chew up. Uh, so yeah, there's that. 
then in case you guys are curious, this is the Carolina Storm Wheel in red. I really like this wheel. It works great. It's super quiet, just a really awesome wheel. And then I just put a piece of tile down with some rocks keeping this bendy bridge up. As you can see, she is stuffing her cheeks full. <laughs> Mavis, you want to slow down a little bit? She's like, no, got to eat. But yeah, this is my Mavis. She's getting a little bit older with time, but she's still so cute and active. She usually comes out at about like 10 o'clock every night. And then I noticed she seems to have some staining on her butt. I don't... Sorry, I'm not like an expert on hamsters. I know a lot about their care, but I know I don't know a lot about like their behavior, if that makes sense. So do they have scent glands there too, or is that just males? So I wonder, I don't know, it could just be pee staining from her sleeping in her dirty, you know, spot because they poop and pee where they sleep like guinea pigs and it's kind of gross. And because I don't check it all the time, I'm sure it does get kind of dirty. But Mavis, why don't you just poop and pee somewhere else, dude? Come on. Mavis, do you even see how big your cheeks are? Oh, girl, you need to calm down. <laughs> like, what is she even thinking? Where are you going to unload all of that? You haven't even set up a home base yet. <laughs> oh, I guess... I guess this is where she's decided she's gonna put everything. <laughs> what a silly little ham. You're being silly. Okay, just want to add this real quick. I, I'm gonna put the ladder here because the more and more I look at it, I kind of am worried about her like coming over this and falling. So I think this being here will prevent falling and she'll be able to like crawl up and see it and get down easier. Um, and then she'll have the one ramp here. So just thought I'd let you know I added that. So guys, this is where she's decided to hoard her food. So that's great. <laughs> Look at how much was in her cheeks. Look at how much was in her mouth. Like, what the actual heck, Mavis? <laughs>